Hello Gemini, Gemini Rising, and Gemini Moon people. This is your weekly astrological and card horoscope for the week starting July 31st, 2017. Yes, I am back from my vacation, so don't worry, I am back. A lot of people have been asking me, are you back yet? Are you back yet? I'm back. So, um, quick reminder for everybody, don't forget this weekend, check out the, your Dropbox if you have the download links, remember for the Tarot Home Study course, I sent out a whole bunch of, you know, links for everybody for all the content. I'm going to be adding things to that Dropbox, so it's going to be continuing uh, on your education, and for those of you who are interested in starting up, uh, I've decided I'm going to start adding things to it. So it's going to be a bigger course, you know, I'm throwing up some extra spreads this week, and you never know, maybe next month I'll throw in some extra stuff. Um, so it seems to be growing more and more, and I'll always make announcements about that. And of course, if you're ever interested in that or reading with me, you can always go to my website, integrativemysticism.com, or you can make the, you can go to the, you know, confusing labyrinth that is the uh, description bar below this video. So what's going on with your astrology this week? Well, Gemini, early in the week, uh, Sunday going into Monday, we've got Venus, planet of love and harmony in your sign, forming a bit of a weird couple of angles. It's going to be forming a tense square to Chiron, currently in your 10th house. I'm sorry, yeah, your 10th house, yes. 10th house of career, um, while, this is where I was going with that, forming a lovely sextile to Uranus in your 11th house of friendships and social networking. So we've got good and tough at the same time. And, you know, tough isn't always bad. And it seems that there is some kind of big career boost coming your way, or some kind of big career uh, bolster coming your way, but it has to do with coming through either an associate or a boss or maybe even a rival that we do not have a good rapport with right now. Okay, and Venus squared to Chiron is challenging you to see, like, can you overcome your unpleasant feelings for this person just to see that there is something good you can do for yourself? You know, this may be a surprise that comes through a friend, but it still involves that other unpleasant person, whoever he or she is, but it still may be worth it. Later on in the week, we've got Jupiter in your fifth house of love and romance, forming a tense square to... Pluto currently retrograde in your 8th house of shared resources and passive income and intimacy. And it's kind of interesting, this angle for you in particular, because a square doesn't mean the end of the world, but there's an opportunity for you and a partner to actually try to get something back that you both lost, whether it was money, whether it was time for intimacy, whether it was an investment opportunity, property, um, you know, or, or just time spent together, but it involves a challenge with your partner or perhaps even your personal obligations to uh, the unit or the family or the couple as a whole. And it doesn't necessarily mean we can't have both, but we're going to have to work hard to have our cake and eat it too, but the nice thing about Jupiter Square Pluto is you can. So, what is going on with your cards this week, then? Well, for your spiritual advice, we've got the card of the eagle. All right. So when it comes to the eagle, all right, the eagle is one of those cards that talks about choosing your battles and being judicious with your prey, and also choosing the right battles in a way that makes you understand that, look, the, the eagle is the lord of the sky, you know, but a lord knows how to choose their battles. All right, this is a card of victory. This is a card of strength. This is a card of, again, knowing what, when to do something that is good for you, even though it may feel like you are doing something, um, you know, that might seem uncomfortable or possibly even perilous. The eagle, in my opinion, I look at this card and I think mostly of, all right, if we are to grasp opportunity in these talons, you know, just referencing the card, there is, some, there is always a bit of a risk diving to the ground to go and pick up whatever it is you're trying to pick up. And again, you may feel, Gemini, that there is a problem in, you know, again, opportunities coming up this week because you are risking maybe um, your, your word, 
you know, maybe you're risking going back on your word. It looks like a lot of principles that you need to work on this week, um, or doing something or not doing something based on principle, could actually be costly to you. Because maybe your principles and your code of honor aren't exactly the same thing, and you might as well stop, keep, you know, keeping certain principles, if only for show. She knows who she is. For your, I'm, I'm helping a girl out a whole lot, okay? Uh, for your Earth sector, when it comes to your work and finances, we do have the Queen of Pentacles upright. And with the Queen of Pentacles, excellent news for work, because it does seem like, again, a willing supporter or a willing support system is coming into your space this week. And the Queen of Pentacles says it most likely would be in the form of an Earth sign, um, a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Um, and this is somebody who does tend to, she's the kind of person I feel that you could really respect. I think Gemini's, um, especially if it's your, you know, your, 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 your sibling from another mother, Virgo, um, you know, I think that you do appreciate people who like to get their hands in the dirt. I think that you appreciate people who don't like to delegate, people who understand the, the, the virtue of being able to, you know, to do something, you know, right by doing it themselves. And that's exactly who the Queen of Pentacles upright is. She could be a new boss, she could be a new partner, or even a client who actually offers to, funny enough, pay you the same amount while still do a lot of the work for herself. Um, but this is a very good opportunity to also make a strong partner, uh, a strong ally in this person. If you've been looking to assemble any kind of work dream team, or you want to get yourself into, let's say, a more prestigious work culture, she is definitely somebody that you want to have at, you know, at your round table while you build that around yourself. For your communications with air, when it comes to your friends, your relatives, the others in your life, we've got the Knight of Swords upright. Uh, looks like assistance is coming rushing in for you this week, and it might be coming from a fellow Earth sign, a, you know, an Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra, um, or possibly somebody with a lot of those qualities, or heavy amount of that in their chart. Um, usually the Knight of Swords comes rushing in. This is somebody who is rushing in to help us with something that we do need that backup on. Um, and I don't know if you've necessarily been in a situation where you feel, situation where you feel like you need backup, where you feel like you need, um, some kind of extra support when it comes to maybe changing people's minds, you need some, but, you know, extra votes, um, extra participation, or you need backup in terms of handling things, priorities and obligations that you don't have time and energy for. Um, this person is actually volunteering to go out and actually take up that cup for you, whatever it is that you really do need to actually have an extra pair of hands and eyes for. So, you know, be on the lookout for that. It looks like a lot of people um, rushing to the Geminis this week. Except this one. For your challenge this week with fire, do you have the Knight of Wands upright? God, it's like the whole damn city. It's the whole, it's all the court cards here. Um, for the Knight of Wands as a challenge, I want you to be, I want you to understand first and foremost, upright, you know, I just got to warn you, this person is not being a jerk. This person is not trying to be rude or inconsiderate. But the Knight of Wands upright as a challenge can indicate a person who is perhaps, you know, at least in the, in the challenging position, it looks like this person isn't necessarily contributing so much as being a warm body in the room. Um, and you may feel like there is somebody who's going to be a bit of a distraction or perhaps even a, a hindrance um, just by even, even if they're there as sort of like the morale officer of your team. Um, the Knight of Wands upright can indicate somebody who's a bit too enthusiastic. Uh, most likely a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or somebody with those qualities, all these people here. Um, but one of the things about the, the Knight of Wands upright when it comes to enthusiasm, it's like, yes, it's great to have high energy, but when it gets to the point where it's, you know, they're at a nine and you need them at a six, then you need to pay attention to when carelessness happens, when accidents happens. It's cute and funny in the movies, but this may actually prove to be, you know, a bit costly. Okay, again, they're not a terrible mean person. I don't want to hear anyone, you know, like, taking it personally, but it is something that needs to be understood, you know, because some people spaz. For your emotions with water and your romantic life, we do have the lovers upright. What a nice way to end this reading. 
Um, the Lover's card is kind of an interesting one here, though, because it does talk about a win-win being hatched between you and a sweetheart. Um, whether this is a win-win in terms of the both of you actually having some serious discussions about long-term, you know, relationship um, establishment, uh, which is actually very highly likely for a lot of you, um, especially over the course of this, you know, uh, of this duration of you know, Jupiter transiting through um, Libra. We have the lovers actually bringing up those, con you know, conversations. So if you've been seeing each other for a couple of months and we want to start making things official, um, you know, putting things to paper and all of that, the lovers card is great for that because we do iron out the win-wins. This can actually be a really good sign for those of you who have, who have been having a hard time finding a win-win when it comes to these kinds of negotiations, these kinds of plans, odds and ends with a sweetheart while you both are trying to achieve the same goal. So whatever's getting crystallized this week or, you know, or finding finally actually gelling is for keeps, and that is always a nice thing to see, all right? So that is your horoscope, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, if you ever want to get a session, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com.